Okay, we start with very basics and we start with Laplace's rule. And clearly when stated, this seems very straightforward and it makes perfect sense, but apparently Laplace was the first one to put it in writing. And uh, the statement is probability is the ratio of the favored events to the total possible events. Now here, um, the term event is used a little bit loosely and we are going to define the event as something a little bit different, but from event in the statement, what you should understand is outcome. Okay, so when you perform a random experiment and you, you know the possible outcomes, and if you define an event that comprises a number of possible outcomes, the probability you assign to that event should be the number of outcomes in your um, event, let's say, uh, or that satisfies your description of your um, event to the total number of possible outcomes. This is also called the principle of indifference or the principle of insufficient reason, because unless you have um, a, a reason to assign unequal probabilities to different outcomes, the only uh, reasonable assignment you can give to the probabilities are just equal. Because you have, let's say, a number of possible outcomes and you have no further information about the nature of the random experiment and the nature of those outcomes, when they occur, etc., according to what they occur. Well, if you have no information, um, you should assign equal probabilities or equal priors, okay? And we call these a priori probabilities because you assign these probabilities before you perform your random experiment. Now, for instance, you have a die, uh, unless you have any reason to believe it's a loaded one. Let's say somebody told you, or let's say you, you observed its manufacturing process, I don't know unless you have some insider information, let's say, before you use it, you have to assume all faces are equally likely, one through six. But let's say you use it over and over again, and after a while you see a pattern, let's say some outcomes start coming out uh, more frequently than the others, maybe then you, you should rethink about your prior probability assignment. But unless you have such evidence, unless you have such information that should make you think otherwise, you will have to uh, assume all outcomes are equal, equally probable. Okay, so basically this is Laplace's rule. Now, based on this approach, um, we can consider this simple question, if I roll a fair die, what is the probability that the outcome is three? Now, obviously, using a fair die, it, it, it even says fair die, and we don't even have to assume that it's given in the question. But even if it's not given to you, let's say the question starts, if I roll a die, unless there is any information contrary, you will have to assume it's a fair die and the six outcomes, they are all equally likely. Therefore, the probability of the outcome being three is one in six. Why? Because three, the outcome three is just a single outcome and it's one of the possible six. Therefore, I have to assume that the probability of this outcome is one over six, as is the other possible outcomes. What is the probability that the outcome is even? Now, the possible, possible outcomes to satisfy this event is two, four, and six, which means I have three possible outcomes in, in this event. Therefore, my probability assignment should be three divided by six. Three is the number of possible outcomes in my preferred or favored event and six is the number of total possible outcomes. 
not prime. Again, write out the possible outcomes, exclude the prime. So I have one, I don't have two, that's a prime number. I don't have three, I have four. I exclude five and I include six. So again, since I have three possible outcomes in this event, the answer to this would be three over six. Now, what about this one? If you don't think this through, you could say that, okay, seven, it's just one outcome. Therefore, one divided by six should be the answer. But obviously that's not the case. Why? Because seven is not among the possible outcomes. Obviously you have to recognize seven as an impossible event. Therefore you should assign zero probability to this outcome. 